Hi, I'm Olivia. I grew up in a small town where everyone knows everyone, but I felt like the odd one out. Things weren't any different at school. In elementary school, I didn't feel confident enough to talk, but Nick was the only one who ever spoke to me. But he was always up to no good and known for his infamous tricks. I thought he would stop in middle school, but it only got worse. Hey, Olivia, I got you a cupcake. That's really nice. Yeah, I stole it from that loser over there. Oh, oh. You didn't want a cupcake? Hang on, I'll go steal his whole lunch. Come here, nerd! I knew I should have stood up for that kid, but like always, I ran away instead. High school wasn't any better. You know how students get awards for cutest couple, best dress, and stuff at the end of the year? At the end of my junior year, I finally got one. The award for the shyest student goes to... Olivia! Olivia! Who's Olivia? I was the girl who was too shy to accept the award for being too shy. I felt devastated. That day, I decided it was finally time to grow a spine and learn to be confident. Hey! Hey! Hey, you! <clears throat> no boy! You there, mate! Australian? Ugh, oh, come on, Olivia. I practiced for days, but nothing could have prepared me for what was about to happen. We're off to Las Vegas for the week, honey. You're going on a trip? Without me? It's a short trip, Olivia. Just call if you need anything. Oh, but not after 5 p.m. or before lunch. Ciao! Well, I guess a giant mansion isn't too bad to be alone all week. I spent the first few hours writing a super boring essay for school, but the silence was creeping me out. So I decided to watch The Notebook in our home theater. I was mid-sobbing over the love story when I heard the back door swing open. I froze like a statue. Do I do stop, drop, and roll? No, wait, that's for a fire. Uh, I'll just call 911. Shoot, my phone's upstairs. Time for plan B. Cold. Okay. Plan C. Cramp. Suddenly, there was a crash upstairs. It sounded like my laptop. I would rather fight to the death than write that essay all over again. I tiptoed upstairs and saw someone in the kitchen, but it was too dark to see their face. With a burst of confidence, I jumped on their back like a spider monkey, but my victory didn't last long. Hey! They threw me to the floor and everything went black. I woke up with a flashlight in my face and all my memories <gasps> flooded back. Intruder! I panicked and kicked so hard, sending them crashing to the floor. Not intruder. Ouch. I know that voice. I snatched the flashlight and shined it at him. Bailey? Oh no, that's not happening. Bailey was my insanely hot neighbor, and I just beat him up. We went to different schools, but I could see straight into his room from my window. Listen, I'm no stalker, but it seems the universe wanted me to know him. I mean, how else could I have seen him shirtless or dancing in his room when he thought no one was watching? Right? Bailey, are you okay? He's so strong. He was already standing up. I'm okay, but what about you? The pain came rushing back, and I almost fainted. Here, lie down. Thanks, but what are you doing here? I heard a crash, so I came to check on you. Did you catch the intruder? Bailey held my hand, and I felt my stomach full of butterflies. He got away, but don't worry. The police are on their way. I told the officers everything that happened, and Bailey's family said I could stay at their house until my parents got back. Bailey was so sweet that he even brought me tea before bed. Do you want to ride into town with me tomorrow? Oh, I don't want to mess up your plans or anything. Don't worry, most of my friends are at camp. Meet me in the garage at 10. We went off to bed, but I spent the whole night imagining our wedding. The next day, I went to meet him and saw the car was unlocked, so I got in the passenger seat and waited. Oh, we're not driving. We're biking. Yeah, I was just warming up in a car before cycling. It helps the wheels spin faster. It's psychological bike Olivia dynamics. Oh, I never heard this. Yeah, it's a new evolution. Wow, you're serious about biking. I was way too embarrassed to admit that I didn't even know how to ride a bike. But if little kids can do it, how hard could it be? Do you always wear your helmet backward? <laughs> yeah, it's the latest style in Paris. Huh, okay. Well, follow me. Easy, you can do this. I stayed balanced for about two seconds before I toppled over into a pile of garden gnomes. You made up all that stuff about the car and the helmet, didn't you? Um, maybe. I was humiliated, but Bailey was so nice. He spent the rest of the day teaching me to ride. My parents came back that night, and I assumed I'd never see him again. But to my surprise, he knocked on my door the next day, and the next day, and the day after. We were inseparable the whole summer, and it made me sad to think about how everything was going to change when school started. On the first day, of school, I was walking to my locker with my head down when I saw one of the popular girls drop her fancy earring. How was I supposed to get her attention over all this noise? As I picked it up, I realized something. I'm the girl who tackled an intruder. And I'm the girl who spent all summer with her super hot crush. Hey, you dropped this. My favorite earring. Oh, you're a lifesaver. After that, she waved to me every time she saw me. I decided to challenge myself to say hi to new people. To my surprise, people were nice back, even cute boys. But one day, I was walking to the bathroom when I noticed the school bag boy, Nick, and one of his friends graffitiing a wall. 
Nick spun around to tell me off, but then he froze. Graffiti is so uncool, but I was mesmerized by his piercing blue eyes. He was so focused on me, he didn't realize he was spray painting his friend's face. I rushed down the hallway toward the bathroom, but I could feel his eyes on me the whole time. The old me would have ignored it, but the new, confident me decided to confront him in the study hall. You know you'll never get into college if you graffiti the school, right? I'm going to be an artist. You mean a criminal? I'll post your first mugshot on Instagram. I held up my phone to snap a picture, but the teacher spotted me. No phones in the study hall, Olivia. It wasn't her fault. I asked her to take a picture of me. Great, then you can join your girlfriend in detention too. Detention? Girlfriend? I don't know which part was worse. In detention, I tried to sneak past Nick so he wouldn't sit next to me. But someone bumped into me and I spilled hot tea all over him. He jumped up and ripped his shirt off. Ow, hot! I am so sorry! It's okay. I deserve it for getting you in trouble. I was about to respond when I noticed his insane abs. And right above them was a really cool tattoo of a dragon on his chest. I hated myself for thinking he looked so hot. I tried to look away, but Nick was smirking at me. I moved as far from him as I could, but I couldn't stop thinking about him. That night, Bailey and I met up for the first time in weeks because of our busy routine. I wish we went to the same school. That would be nice, but it might be kind of awkward since I'm, you know, homecoming king and stuff, and you're like the quiet girl. Did he just admit I wasn't cool enough for him? What do you think? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, you've hit that like and subscribe already, right? Well, I felt pretty annoyed. So I pretended to get a call from my mom and went home early. That weekend, I was walking through the park when I noticed Nick was creeping up behind some lady sitting on a bench. Was he about to rob her? I didn't want to find out. I couldn't stand it, so I tackled him from behind before he got too close. Get off me, psycho! Wait, Olivia? You're the psycho! You were going to attack that woman! Attack her? That's what you think of me? Nick's face was inches from mine, and his blue eyes looked really hurt. I felt so guilty and embarrassed that I was wrong, so I just ran off without saying a word. After school that Monday, Nick was waiting by my locker. Come to the park with me. Why would I do that. Just trust me. At the park, I saw the same lady from the other day, and as soon as she saw me, she turned red and started hitting me with her purse. Ah! Mom, stop! Mom, she attacked you! It was a misunderstanding. This is Olivia. Oh, why didn't you say so? She's even prettier in person. What's going on? My son paints with me every week. I paint birds, but he always paints you. She reached into her bag and pulled out a beautiful painting of me. These are creepy, but amazing. I'm bad at school, but I'm good at art. Teachers think I'm stupid and I'm sick of it. That's why I always ditch. You're a genius, but why me? Because no one appreciates you either. Wow, all these years, I thought no one could see me, but Nick did. After that, I started spending a ton of time with Nick. He was surprisingly sweet behind his tough guy act. Once we were strolling, and he spotted the injured baby bird and saved it, but he made me promise not to tell anybody. Shh. You're a big softy. Shut up. We quickly grew close and eventually started to have lunch together near the school's eateries. Oh, oh, hold up. Don't call it a date. Can I ask you a question? Why do you have that dragon tattoo? It matches the dragon on my mom's necklace. I'm surprised you haven't noticed. She never takes it off. That's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, yeah. My turn now. What's going on with that guy you text sometimes? Brian? Bailey. We were really close last summer, but he's not who I thought he was. Okay, that's good. That means I could finally do this. Next thing I knew, Nick was leaning across the table to kiss me, and I couldn't resist and kissed him back. All right, call it whatever you want. Jeez, I'm just a bit shy, okay? The whole way home, I couldn't stop blushing. But just a few days later, things went south. Nick wasn't at school that day, and he wasn't answering my texts. So I assumed he was sick and went straight home after school. When I walked in, my parents were sitting in the living room with the police officers from the night of the intruder. And in the middle of all of them, was Bailey. Bailey has some really important information about the intruder. I totally forgot something I saw that night. It was dark, but the intruder had a dragon on his chest. No, it couldn't be. There's a local troublemaker named Nick Costello who has a tattoo of a dragon on his chest. We arrested him before school today. Nick would never do something like that. Mom, I told you about Nick. He, he had you fooled, Olivia. He was probably just waiting to break in again. Bailey walked up to me with his arms open, and I crashed into him in a puddle of tears. The days went by in a Blur. My parents tried making me feel better, but I felt so lonely. Even when I was going through something this upsetting, Bailey only came over once to cheer me up. I know you miss him, but he's a loser. Now you can hang out with me instead. You know, when I don't have better plans. Actually, Bailey, Nick is 10 times better than you are. He actually likes spending time with me for who I am. And he's not a criminal or a loser. Are you sure you saw a dragon tattoo? It was definitely a dragon. I could see it because it was so shiny. Like one of those tattoos with glitter in it or something. Shiny? 
doesn't sound like a tattoo. That sounds like jewelry. I have to go now. I biked to the police station faster than a race car. All the practice on my self-confidence led up to this moment. You're going to let me talk to Nick right now. V visitors get 10 minutes. I'll bring him out. How did Nick still look hot in one of those orange jumpsuits? Your mom was the real intruder, wasn't she? Bailey didn't see your tattoo. He saw her dragon necklace. Please don't tell anyone. But we have to get you out of here. No, my mom is sick, okay? At night, it's like she becomes a different person. She has no idea who she is or where she is, and she gets into all sorts of trouble. I go to the park with her so that she doesn't get lost on her way home and go into the wrong house. Why didn't you tell the police? Because it's still all my fault. The night she got into your house, I was supposed to walk her home, but I went to the arcade with my friends and lost track of time. If the police find out, they'll send her to a mental facility. Hang on. Did you say the arcade? Nick, this is amazing. There are cameras everywhere so kids don't cheat when they play. We don't have to tell the police anything about your mom. All we have to do is prove you couldn't have been the intruder. I sprinted to the arcade and basically threw a tantrum until the manager gave me the security tapes from that night. They totally proved that Nick was there the entire time. I took the tape back to the cops and they had no choice but to let him go. We bought Nick's mom a new necklace to replace the dragon so that no one would ever figure out who the intruder was. And whenever Nick was busy, I spent time with his mom to make sure she didn't scare any other poor families by accident. Once everything was settled, Nick told me to meet him at some abandoned building in town. Uh, Nick, I thought you said this was romantic, but it's totally creepy. Just trust me. Remember when you caught me doing graffiti in the school? Well, I never got to show you what I was painting. He took me around the corner, and my jaw hit the floor. It was a beautiful painting of me. I love you, Olivia. I always have. It's beautiful. I love you, too. But, uh, I definitely didn't always love you. <laughs> Awkward. Nick burst out laughing and pulled me in for a kiss. At that moment, I learned that you can find love in the craziest circumstances ever.